Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Nina Lanera here with Pacific Run Video, and we're here in Hollywood at the Grommet Egyptian Theater for the 2017 Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival. Check out some of the interviews we have with the cast and crew of some of the selected films here at the festival. Fifteen years later, what what memories do you have from when you guys were filming the actual film? Anything exciting, fun that you can remember? Just yeah. God, I mean, just like the the excitement of the set and everybody just um, working guerrilla guerrilla style to make sure this film happens because everybody is just so excited to to um, make sure the project happens. <laughs> There's this equity that you're in control of, and it's called you know. You know, believing and being proactive. You got to do it yourself. It, Better Look Tomorrow is a testament of it is that you know many things need to happen and you know there's a concoction of luck and all of these magical things but you got to be in it. You got to hustle. You got to move forward and otherwise these movies, these stories are not told and you as an actor do not have an opportunity. This is the original cut from Sundance, you know. It'll be my first time seeing this cut since Sundance, so it'd be great, yeah. How many years has that been? That's 15, right? Yeah. I'm pretty ecstatic. I mean, I didn't think that... I was hoping that something like this could happen, uh, but 15 years ago, I mean, we didn't know if this film was going to go anywhere. We wanted it to. We knew... We felt that it was really good. I've kept in touch, um, uh, definitely. I keep in touch with... Uh, mostly, yeah, I keep in touch with all the guys, you know, and Karen, too. So uh, we, I followed them on, on seeing their kids grow up, you know. It's trippy. Uh, he, I just got three girls. I've got two girls. And then uh, Jason's got three girls. <laughs> and I think John's got one. So it's like, it's weird. I, I'm excited for tonight to celebrate such a great movie. I think there needs to be more, often. Um, <laughs> I'm also the national chairman of the SAG after an Asian Pacific American Media Committee. So we're always promoting and trying to increase awareness and get more Asian American talent out there. I think my goal is just to be able to, on a personal level, hopefully go and tell a story and work with passionate people. And I felt like we were able to do that. And through that, you know, we were able to get into Sundance and get distribution. And, and in turn, has given me an opportunity to, to really have a great career. We got uh, two, two really good projects I'm really proud of. Yeah, Robin Johnson's Colored Hearts and uh, Romel and Daya's What You Don't Say. One of my good friends, Justin Chan, is doing the movie Gook. So I am so excited to see him go ahead and do his thing uh, in Gook. And then also tonight watching uh, Justin... Uh, watching uh, John Cho do his thing. Your film has been the most talked about on the carpet today. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel wonderful um, because I worked really hard on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here tonight. It's uh, really exciting to be here, represent. Uh, we have uh, actually several movies that we have here. Yeah. This is Lola Pepe. <laughs> yeah. What movie that I made? The movie is it with uh, Craig uh, Wilson. And uh, uh, creative fill up creation. Uh, we finally got together, and uh, there's about 12 movies that we're showing. And don't forget, uh, May 3rd at 6 p.m. So, I have a short film called Seppuku. Um, it's about a young woman who has a, is a sprinter and has a career ending injury and has to face her own demons. And we filmed at the Manzanar site of the Japanese American internment camps here in California, which was a very, very loaded place for me. Alright guys, well that is it. We just wrapped up here at the Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival. I'm your host, Nino Lanero, and we'll check you out next time.